fixing your blouse and ready to go to college. Well, you are a professor and wife of a biggest businessman. Riya, can you bring me one glass of juice? There was a silence. You frown and look at the kitchen door. Riya, huh? why she is not replying? You heard some noises coming out from the kitchen. You frown and put the bag on sofa and head to the kitchen. Riya, are you there? Hmm? What are you doing? What? I am making breakfast for my wife. Isn't it sweet? Hmm? He said I focused on cooking. Well, you don't have to. Where's Riya? You stand against the door and cross your arm. Well, I gave her leave so she can enjoy with her family. He smiles softly. Come here and give it a try. And finally, he looks at you. Come here. You try and walk to him but gasp as he grabs your waist and put you on the counter. What are you doing? He smiles and stands between your legs. Here, try this. I specially made it for you. It's your favorite. He brings a spoonful of fried rice in front of your lips. You look at his face and take a deep breath before eating it. How's it? You girl with a nod. It's good. He smiled wildly and tried to feed you more but you stop him. Jungkook, I will be late for college. A little later. You sat and tried to get down from the counter. But he pulled you closer to him. He smiles and cups your cheeks before kissing on your forehead. I love you. There was a silence for a second. I love you more than my life. You smile and remove his hand from your cheeks and get down. I'm going. Bye. You turn around to go but he grabs your hand and pulls you closer to him again. Chanko. You know tomorrow is the wedding anniversary, so come home early. We will go somewhere. Hmm? You smile lightly and know there was a silence again. Uh, I'll go now. You said and kiss on his cheek before walking out. He smiles softly. Oh, and wait, he runs after you. Wait, I'll drive you to your college. No, it's okay. I'm going with Mr. Kim and today you have meeting so you should go to your office. Just wait here. I'll get changed and we will go. Hmm? Rindy will listen again to the room. You sigh and sit. You must be thinking why I am behaving like this. He is so caring and loving and a good husband. And why I am being a jerk. I don't know why but I am so confused. He may look innocent and kind. But he is not. And no one can know it better than me. I just find out that he is a mafia. I was, I was thinking I got married to a normal man. But no, he is not normal. He is crazy. I wasn't like this before. I mean, I was a bit better than this, but after knowing this, I don't know what to think and what to do. I hope he won't be like with us. And let's go. I know it'll take my bag. He interlocks her hand and we walk out. And the main thing is that he doesn't know that I know about that mafia thing. I was looking outside the window, but he stops and he grabs my hand and interlocks her fingers. I look at him. You know, I was thinking if we go to your mom's house, you can meet her and I have some work out there so I can finish that. What work? Is that related to mafia thing or something else? Hmm? What do you think? Uh, okay. It's good. I'll pick you up after your college. Then we can go for shopping and buy some gifts for them. Moments later, we reach to my calling. We get out from the car. Take care. And if you need anything, then give me a call. I will come here right away. Hmm? I know everyone is looking, but there's no use to stop him. He doesn't gonna listen. That is what I was telling. He's crazy. Crazy over me. Love you. I smile and walk inside. Hey, I know what it was, little man. It was like a father can speak to girl his daughter. Sometimes, I also feel like it. OMG, Anne, you are so lucky. I look at her and frown. How? What do you mean, how? Oh girl, you're really lucky to have a husband like you. He's romantic and handsome, same time successful. Hmm, you're right. He has all qualities that every woman wants to see in their man. But every woman doesn't have luck like you do, madam. I chuckle on her statement. I have nothing to say about it. After all, she seemed right. Good morning, professor. Good morning. Tomorrow is your wedding anniversary, right? Hmm. So, where is he getting you? I don't know, Mia. It depends on his mood. What are you saying, girl? He looks romantic as hell. I'm sure he has plans for tomorrow. Maybe he will take you somewhere for honeymoon? 
Oh, come on, Nina. You know I don't want to talk. Oh, what type of girl you are, huh? If I was on your place, then I would have already given my job to him. I mean, if someone loves me like this, then I'm ready to give him everything. Uh, I must say, you're very lucky man. Now, I'm really regretting that I can I to go on a blind date with him. Then you must be really blind. You know what? He was mine from the start if he didn't come between us. What the hell? I think you're blind also dumb. Then take him. What are you saying? I smirk and lean back to my chair. You can take him. Here's his company address. Go and get him if you can. And yes, don't go to the Gopia tomorrow. I smile and hand with her the address. Are you challenging me? Whatever you think. I swear my soul does. She takes the car. Then wait and watch. I'm going to have him. But don't fall later and blame me that I took your husband. And with that, she walks away. Yeah, are you crazy? What type of wife you are, huh? How could you say as a woman to seduce your own husband? I can't believe. Now I'm sure she will do everything to seduce him. She can even undress herself. She's really a bitch. Calm down, Miss Dad. How can I calm down? Oh, come on. Do you think he will look at her that way? She stops pulling her hair and looks at me. Oh, yeah. Why didn't I think that? He's crazy in love with you, then there's no way that he can fall for other women. Even if she goes in front of him without gloves, he won't even look at her. Ah, I was worried for no reason. Where did he go? Ah, uh, he has some work, so he had to go somewhere. Oh, here, I bet to some cookies for you. I smile and take them. Thank you, mom. Tomorrow is your anniversary. Where are you guys going for celebration? I don't know, mom. Hey, are you not happy with him? I look at her for the first time. She asked me something right. Then what do you want me to expect from this arranged marriage? What are you saying? You are not happy with him? How are you not happy with him? He loves you and cares about you a lot. And you are saying you are not happy? Mom, he loves me but not I. And after knowing that he's a mafia, I don't know if I will be able to love him or not. Ah, I can't believe I gave birth to this kid. Here she starts her drama, and now she will say, It had be better if he was my son and you are my daughter-in-law. Ah, I don't know anything. Tomorrow is your anniversary, so take a leave from your colleague and go on a honeymoon with him, okay? Oh God, Mom. No God. Now you will say only Janko. Guys, what she is saying? I can't believe she's my mom. She's so, so naughty type. Now I think she should have been his mom, not mine. After spending 2-3 hours with my mom and aunt, eh, I also have an aunt. I don't have anyone beside them. I lost my father after my marriage. Now I have only these two moms in my life and I'm happy. Should we go now? I look at him. Eh, after doing his work, he came here. What work? I wonder. Maybe I'm overthinking. Here, I have packed some cookies for you, son. Oh, thank you so much, mom. Okay, mom, take care of yourself and say I'm to rest well, hmm? Okay, honey. Oh, Jungkook dear, come here for a moment. I frown as he took him in a corner. Oh, God, not again, mom. Okay, mother, as you wish. They both smile and high five. What the hell they talked about? Okay, take care. He pats his shoulder, then look at me. And you, take a good care of him. And don't you try to ruin whatever he's planning for tomorrow, okay? Wait, what are you guys thinking to do? Okay, now you should go. It's already late. Bye, son. He waves her and looks at me. Let's go. I know I don't have you too, son. Bye, mom. Don't go hard on him, okay? She pats my leg and whispers. What they were talking about? Ah, I'm sure they are thinking something naughty. What do I do with them? They never wanna listen me. Okay, students. That's all for today. We will continue this topic tomorrow. Okay, professor. Okay, class dismissed. I said and took my bag and walk out. Professor Ain, I will stop and look behind. Yes, Lisa? She smiles wildly and handed me a small box. What is it? Happy wedding anniversary, Miss Ain. It's for me. I smile and pat her shoulder and take the box.
Yeah, but after this, I'm going in all of it gingerly and tell them to watch your cute asses. Even if I have to show them my sexy, sexy body, I'll do that. Oh, yeah, chala.